so now we will see iframe in html so guys basically an html iframe is used to display a web page within another web page so we are going to check this with the help of example as well how we can display a web page inside the already existing web page now guys the html iframe tag specifies an inline frame so basically whatever html element we have written in our code besides that html element the inline iframe will be displayed with the help of the iframe tag over here in html an inline iframe is used to embed another document within the current html document so let us check the example and along with it we are going to use the src which is the source attribute that is used to refer to another the web page to display an iframe so guys let us move to the vs code over here and first of all we will change the title to iframe in html so we will say iframe in html now guys we will have a very simple paragraph so by using the p tag we will say below is an iframe element so guys over here we have a very simple statement that is below is an iframe element inside the paragraph now guys we will provide the iframe over here so basically when we type iframe as you can see this is the tag that we are going to use so this is the src attribute that we can use in order to provide which web page we want to display inside this iframe element now guys this another attribute that is frame border we can remove it for now and guys before defining it we need to have another web page over here so let me just go to the explorer so as you can see we only have the test.html page over here so what we can do is we can add a new file in this case so we click on this new file option and then we will say iframe.html in this case so guys basically we will be creating another web page over here which will be used in order to display it inside the iframe so guys let us provide the html5 tag over here so automatically we will get the boilerplate code with the help of the vs code special feature over here so guys inside this we will have a very simple paragraph and we will say this is an iframe web page so guys basically we are displaying the simple statement that is this is an iframe web page so that we come to know that this is the web page that is created to be displayed inside the iframe so guys let me just save this file now and move to the other file that is test.html so guys as you can see we can switch between the different html web pages over here by using these tabs on the vs code so this is the iframe.html file and we are going to test.html file now guys we can refer to this iframe.html that we have just created so inside the source attribute and inside the double quotes we can simply provide iframe.html so this is the page that we want to display inside the iframe tag over here inside the test.html so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see we will be using the test.html this time so when we refresh this page as you can see this is an iframe web page over here that is being displayed right now and guys you can see the border of the iframe as well which is the default css property that is applied to the iframe on this web page guys to make it more clear we can provide the background color as well to the iframe.html web page so what we will do is we will come to this iframe.html web page over here and inside the head section we will define the style and for the body tag we are going to display the background color so that we can easily know what are the boundaries of the iframe element inside the test.html so guys over here let's say we provide the aqua color as the background color for the entire iframe web page so let me just save this file now and come to the test.html and then this time when we reload this page as you can see this is the dimension of the iframe over here and we are getting to see this is an iframe web page now if you notice this is another web page and it is an independent web page over here if we go to the file explorer and as you can see this is the iframe.html file that is created so when we double click on this this particular iframe.html web page is being opened for you in another tab so guys this particular web page is being displayed in a small iframe over here inside the test.html page and that is the main purpose of this iframe element that is to display another web page inside the existing web page now guys apart from this it is very important that we also provide the title attribute which is used by screen readers to read out what the content of the iframe is 
So basically we come to this test.html and inside this iframe tag after the source attribute we provide the title attribute as well and then we say test iframe over here. So guys basically whatever title we give inside this double quotes it will be used by the screen readers in order to read the content of this title attribute. So no change will be seen over here. So when we just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser there is no change when we provide the title attribute but it will be used by the screen readers whenever they are going to read the iframe content. Now guys apart from this you can also use the height and width attributes of the iframe. So basically this is the default width and height that we have set so far over here. We can explicitly set the width and height of the iframe in this case. So after the title let me just provide the height of the iframe as 100 pixels over here. So we provide 100 pixels and as well as the width as 100 pixels in this case. So since the width and height are same, the iframe will be displayed as a square iframe over here. Let me just save this file now and try reloading this page. So as you can see, it is a square iframe in this case. Guys, we can increase the width and height over here. So we will keep it as 300 pixels. So it looks more decent over here. So as you can see, this is a square iframe in this case. And that is how you can easily set the width and height of the iframe. You can also use the CSS properties as well inside which you can provide the height and width properties when you are providing the style attribute for that iframe. Now guys by default the border of the iframe is being displayed. So as you can see this is the gray border for the iframe. So what we can do is we can remove the border as well. So simply we have to come over here and inside the style attribute in this case we provide the border property and then for this border property we provide the value as none so guys what is the meaning of none value for the border property it means there will be no border at all for this particular iframe html element so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser as you can see there is no border right now and it simply looks like it is some another element which is having a background color property and guys apart from this we can also have the border that is specified so simply we can provide two pixels over here and then solid and black color so guys basically we are providing the two pixels width of the border and it is a solid border and the color of the border will be black over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page so as you can see the border is being applied to this iframe element now. Now guys apart from this we can also have the iframe target for a link. So what this means is we can also have the anchor tag over here. So what we will be doing is we will define the anchor tag and after clicking on that particular link that is the hyperlink that is being defined by the anchor tag the content of the iframe element will be updated. So guys for this we will have another iframe page over here. So what we will do is I will have another iframe html page. So this time we will say iframe one dot html. Now guys inside this file we will again have the html code and again we will have the paragraph tag over here and then we will say this is another iframe. But guys this time what we will do is we will have the background color of this page as yellow. So we will provide the style tag inside the head tag over here and then for the body tag in this case we will provide the background color over here and the background color will be yellow in this case. So guys let me just save this file now. I'll show you this file that is being created that is iframe1 over here. So when we click on this, this is the iframe1 that is being created and we can independently view all these files over here. I'll simply close these files. Now guys what we will do is by default the first iframe that we defined will be displayed over here. But when we are going to click on a particular link, the content of this iframe should change to the second iframe that we just defined with the yellow background color. So what we are going to do is inside this test.htm we will have a hyperlink over here so let's say we define the a tag in this case and then we will have the content as click here so guys basically we are asking the user to click on this particular link and for the href attribute we are going to point it to the iframe one dot html page that we just defined which is having the yellow background so guys over here iframe one dot html is being provided to the href attribute now guys by default what is the meaning of this so basically this iframe1.html 
page will be displayed on the same page where this test.html page is being displayed right now. So guys, let me just show you that. So I'll save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see, since the iframe element is the inline element, the anchor tag is being displayed over here to the right of this particular element. And when we click on this particular link over here, since we have given the href attribute as iframe1.html, this page will be opened in this same tab. So when I click on this, as you can see, this is another iframe. So iframe1.html is getting loaded over here. But guys, what we want to do is when we click on this link, we want to open that page inside this iframe. So how we can achieve that? So basically what we have to do is first of all, we need to provide the name to this iframe over here. So let's say we provide the name attribute in this case and we simply say iframe over here as the name of this particular HTML element. Now guys, we need to refer to this name when we click on this particular link and that can be done by providing the target attribute. So guys, if you remember the target attribute is used in order to open this particular web page in the same browser tab or the different browser tab. So when we provide the blank value over here, this particular page will be opened on a different browser tab and by default the value is self right now which is making it open in the same browser tab but what we want is we want to open it in this particular iframe so we simply copy the name of this iframe and paste it to the target attribute of the a tag over here now guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser now guys when we click on this particular link the iframe with the yellow background should display in this particular iframe element so when I click over here as you can see this is another iframe is being displayed right now in the iframe element that was defined in the test.html element itself rather than opening this particular iframe1.html in the same or different browser tab so guys this is another application wherein you can provide the target attribute as the name of the iframe for that particular hyperlink where you want to load a particular iframe inside the iframe html element so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is basic javascript with html so stay tuned